Welcome to the multiplication course. My name is Steve Whiteborny, and this is multiplication motion challenge number three. In this video, I'm going to challenge you to move some ideas around right in front of you. Since this isn't the first motion challenge, we're going to move directly into the activity. If you didn't see the first motion challenge and aren't sure what to do, then I encourage you to go back and watch multiplication motion challenge number one before watching this video. Okay, let's prepare the materials and then we can begin. You will need a pencil and a piece of paper that you can tear into some small pieces. Pause the video so you can gather those supplies. Tear off small pieces like these and on those pieces write 7 times 5 is equal to 35 and draw a line on this one so we can show fractions. Pause the video until your pieces are ready. Let's begin. Remember, I'm going to go through a sequence and I challenge you to follow along with your pieces. Move your pieces the same way that I move the pieces on the screen. And you can pause the video at any point if you want to rearrange the pieces. Seven times five is equal to 35. That means I know several ideas. 5 times 7 is equal to 35, and 7 times 5 is equal to 35. It also means that 35 is equal to 7 times 5. And I know that 35 is equal to 5 times 7 because 35 is equal to 7 times 5. I'll slide away the symbols is equal to and times, and I'll bring in the triangle. Then I'll take a moment to rearrange the pieces on the triangle so they look like this. Seven times five is equal to 35. I know that five times seven is equal to 35 because seven times five is equal to 35. Now tap the pieces, seven times five, is equal to 35, which means that 35 divided by 5 is equal to 7. And 5 times 7 is equal to 35. That means 35 divided by 7 is equal to 5. Now I'll move the triangle away. Here's another relationship. 35 is 7 times greater than 5 and 35 is 5 times greater than 7. Let's rearrange the pieces again. 35 now let's create a fraction. 35 divided by 7 is equal to 5. Let's tap the pieces to show that. 35 divided by 7 is equal to 5. So the fraction 35 sevenths is equal to 5. And we also know that 35 divided by 5 is equal to 7. Let's tap the pieces to show that. 35 divided by 5 is equal to 7. So the fraction 35 fifths is equal to 7. Now let's slide this piece out of the way. 35 is equal to 5 times 7, which means that 35 is equal to 7 times 5, and that completes the challenge. Remember that there are four levels to this challenge if you want to do it on your own. Simply pause to learn more or watch video number one for a deeper explanation. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Wyborny, and this is Multiplication Motion Challenge number three.